Her face looks familiar. Well, that's June Ballard, <laughs> Tarzan's sister, beast of the Amazon. She's married to Guy McAfee. The captain has moved to Vegas now, but the two of them still have juice. <laughs> Phelps, traffic. Detective Phelps. Hey, Bukowski. Long time no see. You could have called this in by megaphone, Enrique. <laughs> Phelps, this is Enrique Gonzalez. Enrique was a pretty decent middleweight. What do we have, Gonzalez? Broad drives right through the empty lot and off the side of the escarpment. Her story is that a movie producer doped her and her friend and sent the car over the cliff. Was anyone hurt? Driver's beat up. Not too bad, considering if she hadn't hit that billboard, we'd be scraping both of them off the pavement. Passengers are Jessica Hamilton. She's just a kid. She's pretty knocked around. Kid gonna be all right? I think so. They've taken her to Central Receiving. If you want to take a look around, you can stall the ambulance. Thanks. Do that. One more thing. Watch out for the driver. She cuts rough. This ain't the red carpet, so get out of my lens. Uh, if you're looking for the coroner, he's down by the crash site. You'll want to see this, Phelps. There, laid out on the trunk. And that isn't even the best part. They've been torn off. Where did you find them? They were stuffed in the young lady's handbag. I'll run a trace for semen when I get back to the lab. She's a long way from home. Looks like they're lucky they weren't more badly injured. Must have been unconscious. Being relaxed tends to lessen the soft tissue damage. Drunk driver? Maybe not. How so? Well, a head I found without a body piqued my interest. See what you think. <laughs> Alas, poor Yorick, I knew him, Horatio. <clears throat> Is it real? No. 
I think it's supposed to be a replica of an Indian trunk and head. It's some kind of curio or movie prop. See the casting marks? What's it made from? Plaster of Paris would be my first guess, then painted. So we can rule out the murder angle? No, you can rule that in. That thing was wedging the accelerator to the floor. Whoever did it wanted these women dead. How does someone manage to tip their ride straight off a cliff? If the driver's in a fit state, we should ask. Mrs. McAfee, we would like to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. I prefer to use my maiden name, June Ballard. You might be familiar with some of my work. Can you tell us what happened here? You're kind of cute for a cop. Maybe a bit on the serious side. What about me, June? I'm a big fan of beasts. Of I don't like. Keep out of this. We understand that you're still suffering from the effects of the accident, Mrs. McAfee. The officer says that you claim that you were drugged. Who did this to you? That rat slipped us on Mickey Finn. It's no wonder I feel so dopey. I can't remember. It's a serious offense to withhold information from the police during a criminal investigation, madam. I told you to call me June. You're making me feel like an old lady. And don't bother your handsome head about this. My husband will settle the score with Mark Bishop. What can you tell us about the passenger in your car? Jessica Hamilton. Poor Jessica. <laughs> It's been a rough day for her. She's desperate to break into movies. What more can I say? And she's your protege? <laughs> you could say that. Yeah, that's a nice way to put it. We found a shrunken head. It was used to tamper with your car. You see... I normally don't drive off cliffs. The last thing I remember is getting behind the wheel. It's obviously some kind of movie prop. You must know where it came from. In case you hadn't noticed, I am the talent. And the talent doesn't deal with props or sets or any of that kind of stuff. Why don't you ask Mark Bishop, which prop house he uses. You mentioned a Mark Bishop. You think he might have had something to do with this? He is a movie producer. As for his involvement, you just leave it to me and my husband to worry about. It's not going to play that way, Mrs. McAfee. We'll take it from there. <laughs> Relax, detective. You're not nearly as cute when you're mad. Mrs. McAfee, I think it would be in everyone's best interest if you accompanied Patrolman Gonzalez back to the receiving hospital. I'm going to be okay. These guys can take me home after my lawyer and I have talked to the news house. Mrs. McAfee, you are still under the influence of narcotics, and you're likely to go into shock once the drugs wear off. And I thought you were a heel. It's nice of you to be concerned. I think we're good.